YMCA. We saw a few comments on YouTube that people didn't understand why the rail on the Gen 3 doesn't go all the way from the rear all the way to the front. Why is there this opening? They didn't they didn't get it. And that the overall look looks different than the Gen 2, and some even like the Gen 2 look more than the Gen 3, which is fine. I want to explain, because obviously we didn't do a good enough job doing that, why is it open here, okay? We, we obviously understand if there's an RMR or there's a uh, side slide-mounted optic, we're, we're taking off these rails anyway. So why isn't there one long rail and there's two sh small ones? Because we designed the MCK Gen 3, that you can use an optic on your slide. Not only can you put it into the MCK, but you can actually aim with it. We had to make the distance between the top of the slide and the top of the chassis the smallest that we could possibly make in order for you to be able to aim with that sight. So if we bring in a Gen 2, this is a cool Gen 2, the distance between the top of the slide and the bottom of the top Picatinny rail is much greater here than it is here. And if we would have made a rail all the way across here, what would have happened when we're shooting, the shells that are extracting are going to hit the bottom of the top rail, come back into the chassis and cause a stoppage. By the way, sometimes that even happens on the Gen 2. If you have an optic here and you have an adapter that sticks out, sometimes the shell hits the, the adapter and comes back into the chassis. So in order to make this more trustworthy, to make it that it never has a stoppage, we opened up this area. Again, because we needed the height to be much lower and we can't put a rail so low. And if we were to put that rail, there was a chance that shells would hit that and cause stoppages. That's more important to us than anything else that you can use this as a truck gun or home defense or recreational shooters and you never have a stoppage with this. The Gen 3, there are zero stoppages. So that's one reason. But you guys said the overall look, eh, so we thought of something, and this is kind of cool. Let us know what you think. We have an option to use a carrying handle on top of the MCK Gen 3 to basically uh, cover from the rear to the front. It connects it like a bridge kind of thing. And we can possibly supply it with it as an, uh, as an add-on for the Gen 3. And this one also has like a rail here, but because the height of the rail is higher than it would have been if it was a Picatinny rail, when we tested this, the shells did not hit it and there were no stoppages. So we think that the overall look is kind of cool. It gives it a different kind of look. When it's folded, you can carry it around and stuff. And uh, obviously it has a rear side here and we would uh, supply the front side as well. And we just want to know your thoughts. Should we offer the MCK Gen 3 this as part of the MCK Gen 3, as an add-on, or don't even bother. Your thoughts are very important to us. Everything we do is from input that we get from you guys. And uh, curious to hear what you guys think. Hope you like, hope you like it. And if you don't, let us know as well. Thanks all and have a great weekend.